Hello there, welcome to another tutorial on how to set up your Atto protocol on a, on a VPS server. So currently, I'm still waiting on my relay um, to arrive. That's the hardware that I ordered. And um, I went through the Atto education um, web page where you can actually learn how to set up your, your relay. Either you do it at home on your own PC or you can also outsource it to a company um, that is doing this. So here, for instance, I'm using the IONOS server. And I'm going to take you through how, how we're going to do it. So the process is very simple. And the first thing that we're going to do is to set up. So the tutorial, what I really like about this page, so edu.eduk.ato.io, is that the process is really, really, really well laid out. I mean, this is really done tops. I mean, really big ups to the Ato um, team for making it because the tutorial is so easy to follow. I mean, I'm a novice with Linus. I have no idea about Linus, but I was able to do this as well even as much as I had no idea about how to do this in terms of working with lines and stuff like that. So and the first thing we're going to have to do is to, so because we're going to host this on the VPS server from, from another company, um, we're going to have to do this through the Linux, right? So we're going to first um, go to, so I, like I said, I did this on, on IONOS and here I'm going to share my, my referral link to you that you can use to, um, to register also on the IONOS. So currently I see that you are doing a, a sale. So when you go to, when you click on the referral, it's got it's going to bring you to this page. Um, just go to servers and then under VPS hosting, you're going to go to Linux VPS. So when you scroll down, you're going to see they have a lot of plans. So what is very cool is that currently they are doing a sale where you pay, I think $3 um, for the, for three months for the first, I'm um, sorry, for the six, six, six months. And after that, I think the price um, goes up a little bit. So according to what I read on what you need for the ad so, um, really to set it up I think two cores is sufficient and two gigabytes of RAM is also more than sufficient so these are the recommendations that I think I read from the page um, I did not know where I saw this but I saw it somewhere that um, this, this recommendation should be more than sufficient so you can use the VPS Linus S so basically you just have to click on configure and then you're gonna select here Linux as a operating system and then for the sorry, Linus as the as a, as a, as a operating system. And then for the version and the management system here, you're going to use Ubuntu. I think here, like I said, I'm just going to go to the edu page when you click on Debian.ubuntu. So it tells you that you need a 22.04 LTS. So when you come here, this is what you're going to choose. So 22.04. So when you choose this, um, I'm not going to do it with any backups because I think it's otherwise, so every backup that you do comes with an additional cost. If you want to do this, I mean, go for it. But here I'm going for the um, the cheapest option. So when you choose no thanks here, select the operating system, select Linus, you go to continue. And then here, um, so it's asking, are you doing this um, developing or designing professionally? Zero months, I didn't do this. So you can just click continue here. And then here it comes to the details. So you can see the details of the contracts. Um, what I would recommend to change, unless you need this VPS for other tasks. Um, so there, there are options that you can pay. Um, you can take this for 12 months, right? But I'm not going to do this. I want to pay this monthly. So if you go for 12 months, I think it's $3 a month for six months. And then it goes to $5 a month. And it renews automatically. So I'm going to click change here. And then I would like to pay this monthly. Right. So that's the option that I choose. But like I said, if you go for the one the one year option, it's relatively cheaper. You pay like three dollars. But I'm going to go for the one month option so that I can have the flexibility to cancel this as I want. So when you select one month, you see that it changes to five dollars. And then you can technically check out um, with PayPal, whatever. I think they have that accept credit cards. They accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and they also accept PayPal. So basically, you're going to go through the whole process and you're going to check out and then when you check out, you're gonna if you are if you are new here, you don't have an account here. You're gonna have to set up an account and um, do all the all the bureaucracy stuffs. And then when everything is true, you're gonna get a confirmation about your account um, opening, about your server that you bought. So here, I'm gonna just continue to my process and I'm gonna log in and show you how the backend looks once you have done this. Okay, so after you have um, checked out and pay, made all the payments, um, basically you can just log in into Iona. So here, currently mine is in German. But um, don't freak out, I'm going to show you how to get there. So when you click on the menu, I mean, that's the, the icons are going to remain the same in respect of the language. I think your language, so depending on where you're logging in from, you might also have a different interface in terms of the text. But the icons and the symbols, everything remains the same. So all you have to do is to click on server and cloud. 
so when you click here it brings you to all the servers that you're currently hosting on iono so currently i have like three because i, I did a bit of a um, playing at the beginning or trying to make sure that everything is working before i made this tutorial um, you would find in the case that you have a new one that you created if you haven't used this before you would only find um, one vps server available so just select the one that you want to work with and click on so just click on the server that you want to work with so currently i have three and i know this is the one the new one that i created so i'm just going to click on this on the server it's going to bring you to this interface where you're going to see the type of uh, the name that you so you can change this name to whatever you want to have you're going to also have the status so the status here is green which means that the the, the, the server is up and running you're going to see the ip address to your server your vps server which is very very important because that's how you're going to have access to the server and here you're going to see the type of server that we chose so vps means it's a vps server the first two means i chose a two gigabyte sorry a two cpu core and the second two just means i chose a two gigabyte ram and the 80 is the ssd that i chose and then in that option you're going to see um the operating system that i chose so currently i'm running on ubuntu and then here just because i'm in germany that's why my server is located here so what you have to do is to click on my vps and then when you scroll down here um there's a lot of configuration here but the main thing that you're going to need here is to your host which is the ip address like i mentioned before um the roots is the, your username to your server and then here is your password so when you click on this i symbol here it's going to show your password here and then you can just um you're going to need this username so the username is going to be root you're going to use the ip address and then you're going to use a password in order to be able to set up your auto protocol really so one important thing that i'm going to do here is you would have to change or you have to include a port forwarding so as you might know um Atto needs the port 9001 so here to do this i'm just going to click on network right so click on network here and then go to set up firewall so then you see your firewall policies are here so just click on my file my firewall policies and then down here you don't need to change anything here here it's correct this is going to be tcp and then here just put 9001 and then i'm just going to name this at all right and then just click on the add symbol so this takes a while to 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 load so you can see here that the status is spinning so which means that the the firewall or the port is currently been opened in the background what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you to the at all education so here so we have our operating system set up right we're going to run on linux so i'm going to click install and on on linux and then when you scroll down here this is where the magic happens so this is the only code that you need to install the at all really which is very cool what i also find very nice is that you have the symbol here where you can just click copy and then this will be copied so i'm going to go back to my firewall so you can see the firewall is created i have now the 9001 at opened um which is also running now the next stage that we're going to go is we're going to run the the linux um, vps server and we're going to install the at protocol now all you need to do is like i said click on the edu edu.ato.io and then you're going to go to install anon on linux because we're running out the ubuntu server and on the nice thing is that all you have to do i mean i really like this page guys i can i can i can see this um enough all you have to do here is to come to copy because this is the text that we're going to use to install the auto protocol server on the vps server that we just hosted now i'm going to do this um on the on the um command line from from windows right so this i think this is powershell so first what you're going to do is we're going to need the ip address right and the username and the password so click on server this is the first server that i just created i'm going to click on this so when you scroll down you're going to see we have i have my ip address right that's the host i have my username and i have my password so what you're going to do is you just go to the um you click on your start button and just choose powershell so it's called windows powershell so i'm going to click on this and then the command that you're going to use to be able to access your your vps server is called ssh right and then you type roots which is the username and then at sorry at symbol and then you're going to type in your your ip address so you can just also just click copy here when you come to the command shell you press the right key the right click and then it basically paste in there 
Then here we're going to choose enter. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to continue connecting? So of course we want to do this. So I'm going to click yes. And then you're going to need a password. So here I'm going to come back to my IONOS server. I'm going to click show password and I'm going to click the copy symbol. Then I'm going to come back to my, my PowerShell and then you're going to right click. So when you right click, you don't see anything, but the password is there, right? So just click enter or press enter. And then my server is loaded. Now, all we're going to have to do now is to go to um, the edu, at our edu page, which is here, right? And then we're going to click on copy to copy the, the installation command. So go back to your PowerShell, right click, and then press enter. So now this is what is happening. The, the, the server, the, the Atom protocol um, node is installing. It's going to take a while. Okay, now it appears everything is installed correctly. So you see running kennel seems to be up to date. No services needs to be reset, no containers, blah, blah. Everything is running. Now this is where you need to put in the details to your relay. So here it's asking, enter the desired nickname for your Atto Anon relay. So I'm gonna put um, Atto YouTube. It's just my ID that I'm gonna use. And then enter. And then, oh, I think I entered the enter twice. That's why it says I entered an invalid um, nickname format so now it's asking me ah wait i think the mistake that i did is that so you put here only a to z only numbers no spaces and i put this under slash here so i'm just going to type at all youtube enter and then it's asking me for the contact information for my anon relay now i just wanted to go back to the um at all edu page to show you so all the inputs that you need here you can find this also on the page here so here nickname it tells you what what a nickname field is contact information um, it's going to be your email address um, basically that's what you need and then family if you have multiple relays that you're running you would have to make this also um, known to the team um, and also the bandwidth that you have um, the bandwidth best custom ports so currently the default port like i said is 9001 if for some reason you would need a different port you would just have to put this in when you are setting up now, so here, um, contact information for the relay is going to be your email address. So I'm going to put in my email address. I'm going to press enter. And then um, if you have, like I said, if you have multiple relays that you're running, you're going to put in um, the, you're going to put in some field to, to, to highlight this, but I do not have any multiple relays, at least for the sake of the tutorials. I'm going to press enter. And then here you're going to enter which bandwidth that you have. So I'm going to leave this also empty um, bandwidth bet. I'm going to best. I'm going to leave empty. And then, like I said, here you, have to, you need to put in your pot. So here my pot, I would use a default, which is 9001. If you remember, this is also what we put on the IONOS VPS firewall page. So I'm going to leave it and also press enter. If you press enter, it means technically you are taking the default. And then here it says that the Anon installation completed successfully now the next thing that i would like to do is to have so the command prompts are a bit scary so i like to have there is a visualization interface that you can do which is called the next i think nyc so here um you're going to go to i think i saw this somewhere also on the page i think when you go to assessing the relay dashboard not, not here um i think it was somewhere just a minute Okay, it took a while, but I, I was able to find this. I think this is in the frequently asked questions. Um, I think you can also get here if you click here. So under introduction, frequently asked questions, when you click on this, and there is this option here, how to install NYC or Nix, as I mentioned, for monitoring the DBAN. So I'm going to copy this here, copy, and I'm going to go to my PowerShell. I'm just going to right click and then press enter. And then this is going to install the NYX on nice um, interface for us. And then to run this, you're going to say, like you see here, to run nice, you're going to copy this or you can just type in sudo 
nyx so right click and then press enter and then here you see your relay running so um i'm trying to check to see if everything is correct so i do not understand most of what is here but the most critical thing that as i understood correctly for me is to check to see if the relay the ports that i opened is available so here when you scroll down here so under notice so in my case so basically you see here the run up time so the up time is two minutes 30 seconds that's how long the the relay has been running when i come down here so in the beginning it said that it wasn't able to find ipv6 address on or port 9001 but if you come somewhere up here now you see that self-testing indicates my or port is reachable from outside so which means that um the port forwarding is working and um, the relay is working um if you got to this point congratulations now you have your relay up and running i think it's always nice to come back to check in um to see if um everything is running from the back end correctly like it should be and um, if you have any doubts um I would, I would i would suggest that you go to the discord channels um, you can always send a screenshot of your relay for them to check to see if everything is running correctly and the team there is very 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 helpful so if you have any questions reach out to the um, discord channel if you have any questions you can also put this in the in the youtube um comment section if i'm not able to answer i can forward this to the team to see if they can help you out or you can also directly reach out to them on the discord thanks again for welcome uh, thanks again for watching the video um i think this project is going to be a hit uh, i really i really believe in the project i think what they are doing is, is very unique right running a vpn on a blockchain i think the potential is huge um but of course this is no financial advice um if you believe in the project believe in it and thanks for watching the video and see you in the next one there is one more tip that I forgot to mention. I think this is a very, very important. Um, like I said, you can see if the port is opened from the PowerShell where you can see the backend of your relay or simply you can go to portchecker.co, right? So when you press this, it's going to show your IP address, which your PC is running from, but this is not the one that you need. You need the IP. You need to check the IP address of your server. So like I said, you know the IP address that we use to log in into your backend, your VPS backend from the um, IONOS server. So I can go back here again. Um, this is the host IP address. So just copy this, right? And come to portchecker.co and paste in your, your IP address. And then for the port number, you put in 9001 because this is the port you want to check to see if it's open. And then click on check. Now, so if everything is working well, you're going to see that the port 901 is open. So which means that your Atto relay has full access to the ports and can communicate very well with the, with the back end. So once again, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.